Welcome to another quick tutorial in Premiere Pro. Uh, today we're talking about how to do some automatic color grading to save you a lot of time using the uh, Magic Bullet uh, Colorista. Uh, so I've got some uh, footage in, in here. I'm just going to fit it to my frame so you can see what it is. Just a drone pass. Uh, I shot this flat with the DJI Mavic 2. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Colorista 2 and just dump it right on my footage. And now what they've got is this great little guided color correction. So what we can do is come in here and just follow their steps. And so um, first things first, we're gonna say uh, we shot this flat. And now we're gonna have all these sliders um, and they're, they're gonna say basically that the, they're recommending the target area where you set these with set these sliders. So as you, as you move, um, on the right, you'll see as I get to a critical point, it'll start telling me you've gone too far with your blacks. And then the same thing, if I go this way, obviously I'm just getting no black, but, so we're gonna kinda, you know, it's it's, it's making recommendations. This is definitely not like an authority on, on color grading, but let's just follow their steps and go right in the middle of all these. Um, so now we come to our white levels, same thing. If I go too far, you'll notice I start clipping in the whites. So let's just use maybe a little bit lower because the it was already kind of washed out because of all the wildfires we had in Colorado. Um, the midtones is saying the hump should usually be near the center, so we're gonna really try to kind of bring that over. It's gonna be tough because of again all the wildfire smoke, but let's just try moving it over, kind of extreme uh, contrast. Same thing should probably be somewhere near their suggested mark and now we bring our colors back and now we can see we're actually getting some blue sky which is definitely not something we got before but now you can really see the smoke and that's okay um, you know you can go all the way to the recommended or I guess the limit they're saying um, so let's just kind of put it somewhere there and then if you want to mess with the temperature, you can see here, these, the image shows when the key colors are landing on their correct values. So right now, our trees are green, we've got the browns. If we start tinting things, you'll notice we actually get more green in the trees and then eventually we get to a point where it's just washed out green. So we don't want to go too far that way if we're trying to make it a little cooler. And then if we go this way, just a little bit and we've lost all the green in our trees so I'm gonna go actually it's telling me to basically go a little bit cooler um, and then the same thing in the tint you'll notice you know I don't want to mess with that too much and then um, also over here to the right when you're looking at your scope um, you're gonna notice that you can also click and drag and play around here but they're saying like a well balanced piece of footage, like anything is gonna have the colors distributed closer to the center. Um, so we'll just kind of nudge these around a little bit. And let's just go with that. And now they give you a nice before and after view of the footage. So then you just click finished and you're completely you're pretty well graded and I think that looks pretty good. There's not much more I could have done um, with the footage that I had. Um, we can always go into color and try pushing things around a little bit more. And we want to try to bring the shadows down, um, maybe the highlights. You'll see there's not a lot more latitude really in this footage. I mean that looks kind of cool and dramatic if that's what you're going for. Um, but you know, it, I think it did a pretty good job of grading it. It's just, it's a, it's a, it might speed up your workflow. It might be applied to certain types of footage that you shot. Um, otherwise, you know, this was just kind of a tip and maybe it's helpful for you. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.